Welcome to the channel, Scrap to Art Metalworks. Thanks for tuning in. Today's project is a old and rusty nut ink pen holder or pencil holder. Wait a minute. There we go. So obviously it's primarily made out of old nuts and weld and one small steel plate on the bottom. I would consider this one, it's not that complicated, but it is a little more challenging Organizing the nuts so they they look good isn't too bad, but Tacking them and and not putting too much weld so it looks hideous Is a little tough, but and then you've got to wire brush all the nuts and that's just busy work But it is is it a little bit tougher than some of the other projects? It takes me about three hours to do one you build it from the bottom up and Here's how you build it well, How did it look? You can be honest with me. You got to see it before I did. This is where you start. This is a whole bunch of nuts of things that I've taken apart. And actually I've already started over here. A little dark back here, sorry. And I've just run these over my wire brush on the bench grinder. That's the major part of this process. Just getting those cleaned up. So for starters, I've used, this is three and a half inch muffler pipe. So this is just a ring that's about an inch tall. And to start out, I just use this and do one row all the way around and just tack it together. So let me go ahead and do that and then we'll go from there. So I have you on the tripod so I can use both hands. So I have this first ring done and you want your uh, wire speed probably back down a little bit and your heat kind of backed up a little so it kind of melts down in but you don't get a glob on there like that which I could take care of that later so now I've moved away from this ring go into this ring this is the same pipe but now I got a slot cut in it and it's a little tall to work down in this far so what I'm going to do is just set this ring on here like this, set this ring on here, and then I'll put this hose clamp on here. This is the same pipe that the other piece was. So when it closes up, it clamps down on that. That can go away. So now I can set this on here and I can do another ring or maybe even two layers and build that up the next step so let me do that and I'll be back well, all right that's starting to look like something we've got about two rows depending on where you look two three rows so the next step is to this is the top so back upside down again and then I'm gonna put that same sleeve back on clamp it up and then I'll have Room to do another row or so. And then I am giving this, I've been cleaning it up, knocking the loose stuff off, kind of clean up. And then I put like a light coat of WD 40 on the top that helps keep the BBs from sticking when they come down through. Put a wing nut in there. So it's getting there. Another row. You probably have guessed what the next process is. So I've gone away from this two and a half inch sleeve and now I'm going up to three and a about three quarter or three and a quarter so same thing I'll set this on there and put the hose clamp on there this just stepping this up just gives you room to keep working and I did go through and there was a couple spots I just reached in with it free on the bench and just to make sure it stays together it's getting pretty solid now so I'll put this on there down flush and do another ring and I had to clean up some more nuts on the grinder or this wire brush it's getting there all right so I've done another row and I've put it back in that same sleeve but what I've done now is I've spaced it out the bottom so I'm getting ready to do my bottom row so there's a couple things now I'm actually going to use this sleeve I want to make sure that the bottom of my sleeve is so I've got four inches there four inches there and then 
just a little over four there. So it's gonna sit, it'll sit pretty flat. And then the second thing I like to do is I like to find three spots and just have three of the nuts just sit up a little proud at about 120 degrees apart. And then the rest of the nuts push them down an eighth inch or so. And you won't really notice it when it's sitting down. But what that'll do most of the time is it'll, when it sits down, it won't rock. It'll just sit on those three points and not rock. So just as you're putting them in, I like to go around and put those in first and then build everything else up to that. And then even, maybe even kind of just lean them. So I'm going to lean this in a little so that it hits out here on the outside edge and not tip that way. And then something else down here on the bottom, because the ink pens and pencils are going in from this side, you can use the bigger nuts down here on the bottom and close up this circle a little bit if you want to. Good place to use those up if you, if you kind of want to keep this diameter up here. You don't want to close that up too much up there. So I'm going to put those three nuts on and build up the rest and then we'll be all done with the sleeve. So that's what it's looking like. There's the wing nut. I've knocked off some of the bigger goobers and then I've made this plate. I think it's 3 16 material. It's actually a drop from a hole saw when I cut a hole in a bumper. Look like that, welded in the center hole and then I just kind of conformed it so the think pens don't kind of get wedged down in the corner and tapped it in, it kind of fits pretty good. So I need to weld this in and then we need to go through and do some cleanup on all the little weld BBs that are stuck on it. So I got that welded in, I got my signature on there. Now the next step is to just set here on a stool and go through and just kind of chip off these weld BBs and clean it up a little bit and wire brush it. Just kind of clean it up, get it ready for some clear coat. I like how it's coming out. There's a good way to clean up the inside if you have an air grinder with a stone on it. It made pretty quick work of it. So these are the type of things, hammer, chisel, uh, file, I got some of these round wire brushes, wire brush on the drill, and just chipping away and getting it cleaned off. I think now it's pretty good. I think I'm going to take it to uh, the pressure washer real quick and just really blast it out good. So the Clear coat will stick. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the project, and if you build one, I hope it turns out fantastic. Have a great day.